dead serious about this. And I know that I was talking to the flight attendant about this on American. I was telling her I was going to do this. And she finally told me to sit down. She had to, she had to prepare. She had to prepare a service. She, think, she goes, I got to get the card out. And I said, well, listen, I had a great flight attendant today on American. Real, real, real dark lady. I'm like, I paid forty dollars for a more more space seat. She goes, well, we don't have any, so you're you're. So I'm in the last seat of the plane with her. So it, so she gets so she goes, you might get a refund. She goes, I'll send you some free miles. I go, ah. She goes, you think you're having a bad day? She goes, I wasn't even supposed to be on this flight. She goes, the flight attendant who was her husband killed herself. They've been married two years, and he killed himself in his ex wife's garage. And I'm like, okay. Do we have the cheese plate? What are the snacks? Okay, I said to her, we start talking. She goes, the other day we took off, we hit wind shear when we took off. She goes, you hit wind shear, the whole plane goes to the side. She goes, there was a scream. She goes, but she used these words. She goes, it was a blood curdling scream as the plane took off. She goes, we got about maybe 3,000 feet up and it just, whoosh. and she goes, the pilot got on right away and was like, hey, it's wind shear, we're going to be okay. Um, and I said to her, I go, you ever just fucking like, they call it ferrying the plane when nobody's on. I'm like, you ever just go up to first class when you got nobody on the plane? She goes, she smiled. She goes, yes. Just one time we all got to sit in first class. One time we had four people on this plane and we all got to go right into the front and sit in first class. And I was like, when was that? She goes, four days after 9-11. With a big smile on her face. The thing about flight attendants is they don't, they've made peace with death because it's a very unnatural job to just work 30,000 feet in the sky. All of those flight attendants, they've seen death. They all do drugs. They all do the, they have these stopovers. They all get hammered and all the pilots do drugs. It's a horrible job. We don't pay those people. And it's a living hell. They live in an absolute hell and they have to get on every day and go, hi. Welcome. Is everyone happy we're going to Phoenix? Is everyone excited we're going to Phoenix? Southwest can dress it up all they want, and they can have the people come out and try to do stand-up, and the pilots try to be funny, and uh, the flight attendants try to be funny, but I know what it really is. I know it's a bunch of people who've made peace with death. That's who works on planes.